Hello, thank you for your company. First tonight, health officials are thanking those who have been tested for COVID-19 after customers of several pubs in Carlisle were found to have the virus. Cumbria County Council says several young people who've tested positive weren't displaying any symptoms. Lewis Warner joins us live from the testing centre at Brunton Park, where a record number of tests were carried out yesterday. Lewis, what's the latest? Well, Ian, yes, hundreds of people were tested here yesterday, many more today as well. The latest figures for Carlisle are for last week, and they show that there were 25 new COVID cases, and that puts Carlisle as a city on the top 20 list of areas of concern. But also creeping onto that list now, we learn, is Eden. That's following a small outbreak there. We know of a pub in Penrith, the Board and Elbow, if you can hear me, uh, that uh, a customer visited there on Friday and Saturday who since tested positive for COVID-19. Also uh, affected is, a, is another pub uh, called the Castle Gate Arms 2. Uh, now both pubs remain open tonight and public health officials are as yet not calling uh, for other customers in those pubs to get tested, unlike here in Carlisle where they are uh, because of that significant outbreak. We now know of four uh, pubs that have been affected. This is something we are going to have to get used to hearing, I suspect. Little pockets of COVID-19 popping up in pubs, bars and restaurants, but in reality, for the owners and managers of these establishments, there's very little you can do about it. Another popular pub now asking customers to get tested. The Thin White Duke is the fourth pub in Carlisle, known to have been visited by someone with coronavirus. A statement on their Facebook page reads, we understand this may cause some concern to our customers, but please be assured the council are more than happy with all the procedures and safeguards we have put in place. And with our comprehensive risk assessment, there is no need for us to close. The Thin White Duke's been added onto the list because further contact tracing has found us somebody else who has tested positive who's been in the Thin White Duke at the times we've, uh, we've talked about. Uh, so we're asking people who were in the, the Thin White Duke at those times who may therefore have come into contact with this person to get themselves tested. The call for customers to get tested relates to those who visited four pubs at specific times over the last two weeks. For the Thin White Duke, it's Friday the 17th of July and Saturday the 18th of July. For the Turf Tavern, it's Thursday the 9th of July Friday the 10th of July and Sunday the 12th of July. Customers should also get tested if they visited the Museum Inn on Tuesday the 14th of July and the William Rufus, also known as Lloyd's Bar, on Saturday the 11th of July. The message has seemingly been heard. At the Brunton Park testing centre, the cars kept on arriving. Yesterday alone, 497 people turned up for a test making it their busiest day so far, something public health officials are thankful for. Uh, we asked people to go and get tested. People have responded. Uh, we tested about 500 people uh, in Carlisle yesterday. So that's absolutely superb in helping us to work out whether the virus has spread any further. Uh, so I'm really grateful to everybody who's taken us up on that uh, and, and, followed and followed up with going and getting tested. The importance of taking a test has been highlighted in the last few days. Many of those aged 18 to 25 who tested positive weren't showing any symptoms, meaning they could have unwittingly spread the infection more widely if they had not been tested. Well, concern about this outbreak is also stretching across the border too. NHS Dumfries and Galloway today saying that because of how connected the two places are, that puts Dumfries and Galloway at an increased risk as well. It's for that reason that people are being reminded not just that they can get tested here, but also in Gretna and in Annan. Lewis, thank you very much indeed. Lewis Warner for us there.